I'm Caleb Giddings from Gut Nuts Media, and today we're talking about the five most common questions I get about appendix carry whenever I do a video on the topic. We're going to dive right into this today and hopefully make this a quick video because every time we do a video about AIWB, these questions show up. Always. 100% of the time. So, question number one and question number, well, yeah, question number one is what we'll call it, is aren't you worried about shooting yourself in the penis or femoral artery? And the answer to that is no, for two reasons. Reason number one, my gun is here and my penis is here. They're in two completely different places. So my gun right now is pointed at the ground. If it went off as if by magic in the holster, the only thing it would strike would be the ground. I would be very frightened and I would need new pants, but I would not be shot in any way. So no, I'm not worried about shooting myself in the penis. How many times can I say penis in this video? Uh, number The second part of that question is, am I worried about shooting myself in the femoral artery? And the answer is no, because I take appropriate safety precautions, all right? Things I don't do when carrying at the appendix carry position. I don't carry in holsters that flop closed at the mouth because those get bunched up and get caught in trigger guards and guns go off. I don't wear clothing that has those like pull tight drawstrings on it because those get caught in trigger guards and make guns go off. I only carry guns that have manual safeties or external hammers or in the case of Glocks, the striker control device because those are additional layers of safety to prevent the gun from going off. And again, I always, always carry in a good holster and I always visually look the gun into the holster when I put it away. The last thing I do is also a technique thing, and if you watch some of my other videos on AIWB, I lean back when I holster at the appendix position because that allows me to open up my hips by putting my pelvis forward, the gun is now pointed forward at an angle. John Johnson of Ballistic Radio did a great video about this, holstering at the appendix position where he actually fires a sim gun while holstering at the AIWB position to show you where the round would impact when you're using proper technique and it goes into the ground and not into his leg. So that's question number one. Question number two is how do you sit down wearing that rig? I carry a Glock 34 at the appendix position, I carry full size 1911s at the appendix position and people ask me all the time how do you sit down wearing that rig? Like this. It's not difficult. I'm actually quite comfortable sitting here like this. Because I use a good holster, because I use a good gun belt, because I've made appropriate gear choices, I can perform all of the regular actions that I could do during the course of a normal day while carrying at the appendix position. For example, I can do a squat. I can bend over and touch my toes. I could do, I can throw knees if I need to. Because I'm using a good gun belt and a good holster to carry at the AIWB position, my mobility hasn't really been changed up. If you can't do these activities while carrying at the appendix position, if you can't bend over and tie your shoes, if you can't pick up a quarter that you dropped on the ground, if you can't sit down comfortably, the problem isn't appendix carry, the problem is you. The third most common question or comment we get on AIWB videos is, oh well, appendix carry works for you because you're skinny slash in shape slash not a fat person. I'm not gonna lie, I think personally that being fit gives me an advantage when I'm carrying at the AIWB position, but one of my friends, John Johnston, who did the awesome uh, holstering video, he's a lot bigger than I am. Like, he's this tall and just bigger in every external physical aspect than I am. And he carries appendix just fine. It's not necessarily about your body shape, it's about gear selection. Don't think that because you're overweight, you can't carry at the appendix carry position. Don't think because you're not in super ripped shape, which I am not, you can't carry at the appendix carry position. You just need to find the appropriate gear combination that allows you to do that if that's what you want to do. The fourth most common question I get is why do I like appendix carry? I've actually gone full circle on the AIWB issue. Back in, I started, try, I tried it out 
back in probably 2013, and I didn't like it that much, so I went back to traditional behind the hip carry. A lot of that was because I was shooting a ton of competition at the time, and all of my practice reps were to a holster here from my competition gear. So that was what I practiced with, and I felt it would be a smart decision for me to carry back there as well. And I've now switched back to appendix carry for two very important reasons. The first is that it's faster. For me, it is much faster to carry from this position to draw and get aimed shots on target than it is carrying at the traditional four o'clock position. And I did a video about that as well. The other reason though that I have switched over to appendix carry and why I really like it is weapon retention and threat recognition. Human beings as predators, which we are, and some of us still are, uh, have spent millions of years of evolution getting really, really good at detecting threats that are coming at you from this direction and fighting threats that are coming at you from this direction. We're not super good at detecting threats that are behind us. So, for example, if I'm in the grocery store and I'm in the checkout line and my gun's back here at the four o'clock position and somebody is behind me in line, which is a very common thing. People get behind you in lines a lot, whether you're in the grocery store, the bank, or whatever. And if I'm carrying back here at the traditional four o'clock position, my ability to secure my gun against a gun grab is extremely limited. And I know that's like a one in a billion chance event, but if I can take a measure to prevent it, why wouldn't I? Whereas coming from the front, all right, I can see, if I'm paying attention and doing my job and being situationally aware, I can see stuff coming from here and my gun is right here. So if I need to go and protect my gun, I can do that. So I really like AIWB for two important reasons. It's faster and it gives me a much better opportunity to defend my gun in a weapons retention, grappling situation. The last comment that we get on AIWB videos that's very common for us to get is people saying, well, I tried it and I just don't like it. Cool story, bro. If you don't like it, don't friggin' do it. I don't get that one. That one's, that one's more, I think people just like to talk and they wanna have an opinion regardless of whether or not their opinion has any bearing on the conversation at hand. Look, if you don't like appendix carry, don't do it. And don't watch videos where people talk about how to do it effectively. Go watch videos about people talking about how to holster behind the hip. It's cool, man. Do you, you do you, dog. All right? That's it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I hope that it was educational and enlightening and that you're all offended by my coffee mug. I'm Caleb Giddings, and remember, until next time, run your gun, not your mouth.